Hey YouTube, I'm back. Alien 2000 49655. This is more of my Let's Play uh, Space Engineers. Um, first things first, I accidentally made myself into a liar uh, to somebody who had asked me a question in the comments. So, we are going to exit and save. And we're going to tweak some of the settings on my world here. Something that I accidentally lied about. Edit settings. I actually, I, when I went into creative, I think I just by default started clicking the uh, X pen. Now, realistic, I'll go with realistic inventory size, but I'm going to keep the efficiency on the refiner and assembler. Um, let's see, safe. Yeah, I thought so. I think I thought that got turned off. I, you know, I'm going to leave that off. Don't really need it. Or better yet, maybe I don't need Armageddon, but let's do that. See, I got thruster damage turned off, autosave turned off. I'm annoyed to no end by autosave. It's actually screwed me over a couple of times and when the game was on the verge of crashing and it saved the crash. So every time I loaded it, it would crash. So, okay. This selected game type is more limited than the original one means that your inventory might be truncated and you might lose some items. That's fine. Okay, we're going to load. So I'll turn myself back into a truth teller here. I mean, when I started playing this, I was playing on realistic, and at some point, I guess, uh, without thinking about it, I changed the settings. But uh, my inventory has been dropped down to 400L. Um, now, like I said, I'm doing the unrealistic uh, re uh, refinery speeds, but I'm impatient. <laughs> I will probably always go to 10 times on that. Um, so. And we're sitting here waiting on an eternity for the game to load. A strange hiss you're hearing behind you is me, me vaping on my personal vaporizer. It's basically a glorified e-cigarette. It's helped me quit smoking. <laughs> okay. That's better. That makes me a truth teller again. I jockeyed around the ship while it was still unloading, so I may have to look around for oops, for rocks that I might have accidentally flung off into one of these craters here. But uh, anyway, now I've backed off of Marmageddon. I'm in normal, so I'm still going to potentially take meteor hits. the sun because in normal that's where they come from okay I'm on, I'm on the dark side of the asteroid which means I'm somewhat shielded from the meteors right now but my the entra main entrance to my base and my front entrance to my uh, hangar is on the is on the sun side of the asteroid well sort of it's a caddy corner to it looking for a specific crater because there was a crater already there. I mean, it was probably caused by Big Red when it crashed there. Now, topography has changed because I've been doing some mining around this area. But I managed to find my, my hangar. Okay. Ooh. Now, I thought about uh, building some Gatling guns and pr producing some ammo to help deal with the asteroids, or the meteors, excuse me, 
what I'm inside of is an asteroid. Those other things are meteors. I don't know why I keep wanting to call them asteroids. Um, but uh, I have a lot of magnesium and iron, but not a whole lot of nickel. Um, so I opted to just depend on the massive layers of rock. The, I also relocated my beacon and I'll show you why. And you saw the modification of that vertical shaft I did. Oh, 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 back this down. Oh, I see. Yeah, this hole wasn't exactly flat when I installed these, but apparently it let me install it despite the little piece of protruding rock. Let's see. There, close that. Alright, check it out. I'll check this real quick and then I'll show you what I wanted to. Now I got 1.36k, that's in the refinery, and 41 nickel in the assembler. Which, as you know, will, the assembler will call up anything it needs from the refinery. Especially if it doesn't have it in its own inventory. God, these rocks keep falling down. But here we go. This is doing the same thing the uh, beacon was doing. You can see a little bend pipe in there. That's the refinery there. This is the assembler. So I can actually, let's say if I do a grinder ship or unload my inventory, I don't actually have to go all the way back to my base or my hangar and come inside here to unload. I can just drop it in the collector, just like I would ore. And it'll do one of two things. It'll either... I'm trying to get it to disassemble it as soon as it enters the assembler's inventory, but it keeps by default sending it to my small cargo container. And then at my leisure, I'll actually pull... See, I got... See, this is supposed to be... Um, this is supposed to be disassembled. So apparently I fed the assembler too much... Uh, a much higher capacity than it was supposed to, because I, I could easily max this out. Okay, I see. Inventory size dropped down. This can only hold 4,000 versus um, 40,000 now. Which now, let me uh, I want to check something with my with my drills. Um, that probably affect my rockets inventory also. Which means I may have lost some of my rockets. We'll take a look at the drill capacities. Yeah, instead of 135,000, it's 13,500, but that's still quite a bit of ore. I mean, when I use the 135,000, um, I can easily overwhelm a single refinery. So, and I've since I'm basically surrounded by fuel, I've opted not to turn these things off anymore. I accidentally bumped into the Scorpion uh, fighter. Um, I'm, I've called it that because it sounds cool, but I'm eventually going to put projections that kind of look like claws, and then I'm going to have a, something that looks like the Telson, you know, the Stinger, and kind of make it look like a Scorpion. But uh, right now it's only Scorpion in name, you see. Here's what I did. I, I had actually damaged the drill heads. Uh, I mean, d completely destroyed two of them. This one and this one were almost destroyed. They were going to break anyway, so... Rather than try to... Rather than deciding to repair it like... Uh, to look like that one... I've repl replaced that missing gyro in this one, by the way. I just took them out and with these missile pods here. Now, thruster damage is off, which is a good thing, because that rocket pod is sitting right in front of a, a thruster. You can see the flame burning inside the tube. So, uh, let's see, I want to check my, my missile capacity, because every inventory has been affected, I think. Wow. 
fucking pods are empty. That should have had like that should have had uh, between the between these. Should have had at least ten uh, ten rockets each. Unless I took them out and took them apart. Let me check something here. Yeah, the capacity on the reactors have gone down too. Okay. Well. I just took out enough rock to get these to to make the, to get these to place. I mean, I've seen some pretty massive obstructions and still be able to place a block. I mean, some of these blocks are actually embedded in the asteroid. So, there's my magnesium. There's a crap load of, uh, of uranium below this platform. In fact, parts of it, actually, you can see right down into my hangar. Let me show you something. See that iron rock through that little hole? That's actually my hanger. So, I mean, when I took out that door, it revealed that, and it's weird. Let's see. Well, I'm at a point where I'm not going to be building or flying or mining. So, let's do one of my things I like to do, and that's monitor. monitor processing of materials if I as soon as I get a large a couple of large cargo containers which is where that expanded area back over there is going to be for it's going to be a storage area I'm going to have some more conveyor tubes go over there and set up the assembler to to cycle through all the different components that you can use and have it do them one at a time cycling through so by the time it's all done I'll have literally thousands of Components, which will allow me to thousands of each kind of component, which will allow me to build pretty much anything I want. The downside is, is I got to keep feeding it ore, and I just heard some meteor hits. said that the gravity generators use, utilize them too, but I'm not so sure about that. Okay, gonna be a stickler. There we go. I suppose I could open this up, but yeah, this is this passage was this tunnel was just barely big enough to uh, let these passages pass or pass by it. Uh, forgot. Oh, here it is. Uh, a little bit of creative maneuvering. Uh, I'm still having trouble uh, spacesuiting. Um, it's not anything wrong with the game. It's, I find it easier to fly small light ships than it is to fly the spacesuit or a large ship. But then, I uh, get some silicon going here. I'm going to pan the camera so that you can see what's going on over here. And you got the uh, assembler stuff down here for finery. And that small cargo container is, is linked to the system through the refinery. Chances are if I like build a grinding ship and I take apart some captured ships and I drop them down that hopper shaft, this is probably where it's all going to end up. At least until I get the large cargo containers in. But I don't typically use the assault rifle in 
Tuxedo Flare, but I like to have it on hand, uh, hand anyway. You can't really shoot any meteors with it.